Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading. This is going to be for Leo for your October 2023. Why did they do this? Um, so we're going to take a look at someone that you're dealing with, was dealing with. We're going to see what this person did to you first, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, why they did it. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right, so tell me about uh, Leo. Leo, the person that Leo is dealing with or was dealing with. What did this person do to Leo? What does this person do to Leo? What does this person do to Leo for October 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo. Eight of Cups. Seems like this person walked away from you here, Leo, for some reason. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that just didn't have what it takes to make a relationship work. Yeah, this person didn't have the tools. This person just didn't have uh, the power to do it. Um, yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person had a lot on their plate or a lot on their shoulders. Um, I just feel like this person might have thought that they could have taken on a relationship, but then they realized that, you know what? I should have trusted my intuition. I can't. I have all this baggage here. I have all this burden, all this trauma that I have to take care of. Uh, this person just couldn't take it on. Yeah, this person couldn't take it on. Uh, Cancer Pisces here with the uh, uh, High Priestess. We have the Hermit here and the Ten of Cups. However this is, I feel like this is an individual who does want to be in a relationship. But at the same time, I feel like this person is not ready. Because I feel like this person realized that they had a lot of work to do on themselves here. Yeah, this person had to work on themselves. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like this is an individual that just couldn't provide you what you're looking for here. You know, with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords here, I feel like this person was definitely not on the same page as you. I do feel like this person was protecting themselves in a way because I feel like this person was lying a lot. Yeah, this it, 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 it's definitely a form of like protection, self-preservation -pre here because I feel like it's almost like I feel like this person didn't want to share a part of their life with you. Like, you never met their friends, you know? You never hear about their friends or family. You never hear about their job. Um, uh, and, and I feel like, you know, this person definitely has a hard time opening up, being vulnerable, you know, showing their true selves to you. I do feel like it's almost like this person was definitely playing a bit of charades here, okay? Kind of like pretending we have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. We have the High Priestess here and the Six of Swords. There was definitely like butting of heads here. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this person was like incredibly combat combative. Yeah, and I feel like when things happen between you and this person, this individual was, was like completely stuck on it. Like I feel like this person could not stop talking about it or could not move past it. They just kept bringing it up, bringing, bringing it up over and over and over and over again. Tell me the hermit. Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups. Yeah, there was definitely separation here. Uh, I, yeah, I just I just feel like you guys were not looking for the same thing. I, I feel like this person thought that they could do it, but they couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, it just kind of like, this is like the reason why that this person just could not be in a relationship with you. Yeah, they could not be in a relationship with you. Um... Why did this person do this to Leo? Why did this person do this to Leo? Why did this person do this to Leo? Why did this person do this to Leo for October 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Why did this person do this to Leo? Why did this person do this to Leo? Nine of Cups and the Three of Swords. The reason why they did it is because 
they're, they're, they're hurt themselves. You know, hurt people do hurt other people. And I feel like one of the things that really, like, one of the things that really made it worse is that this person perhaps drank a lot too. Yeah, I just feel like this person wasn't really coherent. Um, I do feel like, you know, a lot of the arguments that happened here was very kind of like unpredictable and very volatile here with the King of Wands, Aries, Little Sag, and the Queen of Wands. This is a soulmate connection, by the way. The problem is both of you guys are looking away from each other. You guys are not on the same page. You guys are currently not even communicating. Both Aries, Little Sag. Two will cuss in the three of wands. It seems like even though all this horrible stuff happened here between you and this person, I mean, someone here is definitely yearning for somebody. Someone here is definitely pining for somebody here and missing somebody. Yeah, I, I, I almost get a feeling that we have someone here that's like losing sleep over you here, uh, Leo. Nine of Pentacles and a Nine of Swords. And I feel like for you, Leo, this was like a very stressful situation to you. So the bottom line is that this person has a lot of like baggage, baggage that they never dealt with. Yeah, from their childhood, up until their adult life. I almost get the feeling as a kid, this person got in trouble a lot. Like this kid was always in detention. I would not be surprised if this kid was arrested for stealing from the store or something like that. Um, so the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, we have the Two of Cups and the Emperor, Aries, Energy. Leo Wands. Leo, I feel like you're hoping or wishing, or that you're dreaming that this person will come back changed, different, mature, you know, or or, 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 or or this person comes back with, you know, more put together than they were before. Um, because I get the sense that there is like someone here missing somebody. Yeah, a lot. And, and, and there's just like a wish and a hope that this person would change. Um, I feel like this person will, but it's going to take this person some time. Yeah, I, I, because uh, I'm almost getting a feeling that this person does things very slowly, takes their time, doesn't rush. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, you can't rush this person. They have to do things on their own time here. You just have to give this person space and allow them to have their experience, go through what they need to go through, and then they could come back to you. You know, by forcing them to do things, you know, rushing them, it's not really going to help. It's actually going to make it worse. So, yeah, they just have to do their own thing here and let them do them. And hopefully they will come back different and change here. So, uh, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.